Welcome to my video about OSM and I'll show you how to download your maps, check if the maps are going to the right folder and how to navigate using the app. When you open the app for the first time you'll be welcomed with a screen to get started. So just press get started. In the next screen you can download maps. In the left bottom corner you can see where your maps are going. They should go to your SD card, so press change and press external storage. You probably want to download another map than suggested, so you can choose select another region. Now you can select everything you want. I'll go to Europe and then scroll down to the Netherlands. As you can see I can choose between a standard map and a roads only map. Roads only means only the roads plus addresses. The standard map will contain points of interest, hiking routes, cycling routes and all that kind of stuff. When you download your first map you will be asked to download the world overview map. I recommend you do so. When your download is finished, just exit by pressing the arrow to the left. Now we're going to change the dashboard settings. Press the menu on the left bottom corner and then go to Dashboard. From the dashboard you can also access the main menu in the left top corner. Now we're going to press the phone with the gear in it and turn on Access from Map. It'll change the menu button in the left bottom corner so you open the dashboard instead of the main menu. After you've downloaded the world overview map, you can download maps in another way. You can zoom out and then at a 200 km zoom, the parts you've downloaded will turn green. If I tap in an area I haven't downloaded, it will turn yellow and you will be able to download the region. You can download the standard map or you can download the road map. To download the road map you have to press other maps and then choose the region again. And now you can see it's the road only map. Just press download and here we go. If you've got all the maps you want you can start navigating. Uh, in the search screen of the dashboard you can type a search for a place or anything. And from the map view you can press the magnifier glass and you can also search. So let's try it out. I'll try to find a place in uh, Holland, Fishfleet, and there it is, a village in Groningen. If I tap on the village I can choose a street and a house number. If you want to start navigating you can press the blue button with the arrow but if you want to find a, for example a parking spot press the three dots and press search near here. Now you can type a search or you can scroll for a parking. Well there's one at 122 meters so I'll choose that one. Then I press the blue button and then a screen pops up if I want voice uh, guidance. Just pick one and then you can choose your means of transportation, like a car or a bike. I'll explain more about the different profiles in the next video. Now press go to start your journey. And after a while there's my route. If I tap and move the map a little bit I get my uh, menu buttons. I can press the blue compass needle and then press the gears. And I can change the settings of the route. I can avoid roads or things, well just have a look and try it out. Uh, the app will remember your choice so the next time you choose let's say car it'll use the same settings. If you want to exit your route uh, choose dashboard and then choose the X next to your destination. That's about it, there will be more videos about more details of the app. If you like the app, just buy it. It's very cheap and it's really worth it. Uh, you can leave comments, but if you've got technical problems, please use Google. Bye.